Hi everybody, it's Kara, and I'm back with Facebook Live today. And today we're with Jordan, and we're going to do a check-in on the Gross Beak Starling Chicks. I was super surprised how big they were when I walked in, and I think you're going to be surprised when you see them too. All right, Jordan, tell us hey what's guys, going on today. We are here to do a feeding for our Gross Beaks. Um, if you guys get a good look at them, you'll notice that they actually look like birds now. They are fully feathered. You can see they've got a little bit of their adult coloration coming in and their little tail feathers, um, but this is the color they're going to be. Uh, it'll just get a little bit darker as uh -huh. they get older. And they are very noisy because they're ready to eat. I understand. They, I totally understand. They are learning how to be big kids. Um, so whereas last time you saw us, we pull them out, we weighed them, we let mm -hmm. each individual out of the cage. Now I'm actually going to take the food, I'm going to put it in there. I am going to use forceps, but uh -huh. I'm going to show them where the food comes from. Okay. Um, so they can start seeing that if they're hungry, they can come down to this bowl and that's where the food comes from. They are getting worms now too. So you'll see I'm going to put some mealworms in here. The movement of these mealworms is kind of what draws their attention to the food. They know what's happening, that's why they're getting noisy. We also are updating them to bigger bowls so we can spread the food out so they can see the mealworms uh -huh. a little better. You'll notice in our water bowl we do have marbles. This is so they can tell that there is something in there so they know they can go over and get a drink. They are ready to go. Oh, look at them lined up at the door. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, that is to help get them the same way 
days that they would be getting, because they were in the tropic building from the outside sun. Right. Um, so we're still trying to get them those UV rays to help their development. Our, our friend Matt says they sure are vocal. That's no joke. You can hear them as soon as you walk in this building. They are very aware that when they are noisy, people like to come in and see them. Um, they are noisy like this out in the tropics building as well. Uh -huh. um, that's how a good way for us to know they are doing well in the uh -huh. spots before they fledge is we can hear them at this stage. Uh, so we know they're doing great in the nest box. And when they come out of the nest box, this is the exact way they bang from their parents as well. Um, they'll open that mouth, scream, and then the parents will come over and bring them food. Well, that's so fun that you showed us that. So guys, we're going to go ahead and sign off for now, but thank you so much, Jordan, for sharing this chick update with us, and we can't wait to see you guys back at 2 o'clock. Remember, even though we're closed, we're still caring.